What's up guys? So today we're going to be trying to install a wing on the BRZ. The reason why I say trying is because the basically every single wing is set for a factory trunk when in my case I have an aftermarket Cybon trunk and it has like the uh, integrated like small little duckbill piece in it. So the trunk itself is a little bit raised because of that duckbill and all spoilers mount to a factory trunk so we're gonna have to try see if this will work or not so the spoiler the wing that I have has these angled they're like yeah they're a little bit angled and um, they mount right to the side right here so it actually kind of if I mount it a little bit farther forward it looks pretty much flat so it might actually work in my case so like what I'm talking about is since I have this it goes up a little bit so like this piece right here comes up but this I can't remember what the factory trunk looks like but this kind of looks the same angle as the factory trunk so this might still work so the wing that I actually got is the battle arrow wing for made for the BRZ FRS and the GT86 this is their 70 inch version they also have I think it's a 66 maybe even a 64 then they have a 76 or maybe it was 74, I don't remember. But I went for the 70 just because the racing groups that I want to eventually go in, um, the wing can't be larger than, or can't be wider than what your mirrors are on the outside. And I measured my mirrors, they're about 71, maybe almost 72. So I went with the 70. So um, what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do first, I think I'm gonna measure out where these brackets, well, where I want these brackets to go. And then I think maybe I'll just make like a little tape mark, tape line right here just to make sure both sides are even. And then I think I might mock everything up on the wing itself and just test fit it on the car. And then um, we'll go mark all the holds. All right, so I had to do a little bit of modification to these. What I ended up doing is I bent the back portion of them just so then it sits more flush with down there so now it, it won't have like a, it had a gap before now it's fine I marked the holes right there for it um, I already did the other side too so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the wing just roughly together and then we're gonna just gonna do a test fit to make sure um, the bolt holes lined up perfectly fine all right so I got all of this, the side plates and everything all bolted on. Just They're still just a little loose just because it's not in final uh, fitment yet. So I just gotta wait for Matt to finish doing what he's doing down there. So just help me hold it just so we can mark out the exact spot. I, I marked out some holes already with just the plates, but it seems I did like a quick test fit with myself only. And it looks like the brackets kind of like aim inward a little, not like as aggressive, but like aim in a little bit. So these holes right here, I guess maybe since that the body of the car does, like the body line of the trunk does come out a little bit, it actually just sits straight. So like this hole right here might be a little bit over more. So I just need him to help me hold one side. When I hold the other, we'll line it up. And I have a permanent marker now that I'll use instead of this pen to make the final holes. And then we'll just go ahead and drill it all and uh, mount it up. All right, so Matt and I just uh, held up the wing to the body and um, see exactly like what I said. The this the holes are actually straight with the car. The uh, trunk itself like curves out a little bit to like go with like the body lines. So that's what was throwing me off at first. So we measured both sides; they're perfectly even on either side. So now, uh, basically, we're just going to hold up the wing and um, start bolting it on. What I'm gonna do first is that since that some of these are like right on this like ridge, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the washers and um, basically just bend them like up a little bit like that, like how this is set up. This one's flat, so this one will be fine. And then this one has like the little ridge, this one has the ridge, and then same on this side. It's the same thing, they've got the ridge on either side. So I'm just gonna bend the washers so they fit like around this so they're not just like flat and like uneven. So I'm just gonna do that and then uh, we'll be ready to put it on. All right, so Matt and I held up the wing 
and uh, we got all the bolts in. So the hardware that they give you is just like some nice like stainless um, like Allen head, some nice like bolts. But with this trunk, since it was carbon and like with the way this gets raised up, the these weren't these ended up not being long enough. So luckily we had some uh, 10 mil bolts here that were long enough. So I'm just using the 10 mil bolts now on them. It's they're fine. I'm I'm fine with just how those look. And then um, same with the washers underneath. I was able to bend this one around here, so it just makes some more surface area. I was gonna do it for this one, but the bend would have to be right on the hole, and that wouldn't have worked. Then this one is just right up on this bigger ridge. So like what I was saying to Matt. Um, I want to build probably this winter time a plate that just goes from like here over maybe it incorporates this um, the hinge as well but just a plate that goes from like here all the way over that it just then with larger bolts I mean with longer bolts probably that bolts basically just sandwiches the um, lower plate of the spoil uh, of the wing to basically the entire side of the trunk just so it reinforces it a lot more than just small little fender washers on a fiberglass slash carbon trunk. I feel like it might just shatter. So for now, uh, it's fine. And um, I'll do the uh, reinforcement plates this winter time. So now what I gotta do is I just gotta, I'm gonna close the trunk all the way. And right now it's tilted up a little bit. So I'm just gonna have to orient it the right way, throw the end plates on and we're done. All right. And there we go. So wing is all installed, everything's tight. Can't really see it right now, but we'll, I'll bring it outside so you can see it out in the light. Looks pretty good. It's not, the good thing is that it's not wider than the, um, the mirrors. So it'll, it'll fall into like the, uh, the, the classes that I wanna be uh, racing in. And um, it has quite a bit of adjustment to it. It has like three right here. And it still has three right here and three up here. So there's still some good adjustments for uh, when we go out on track. Right now I have it pretty much set just neutral. Um, so then when we're out there we can adjust however we need. But it looks good. I like that the center is black, matches the roof. Matches like the splitter and everything. So I like it. And um, now over the winter time I need to figure out something for like a side splitter also because now I have the front splitter the wing and the rear diffuser that's down there and uh, gonna have to do something about the sides now all right so here we go I think it looks really good it wasn't that hard to install I just had Matt buff out the uh, splitter because I accidentally got some white overspray on it when I was painting the cage on the inside so Matt detailed that, got that all shiny again, and it looks pretty good. It needs a wash again, it's just all dusty, but um, this thing might be going over to Premier Subaru to be in their new dealership for a little while, maybe like a month or so, and um, I wanted everything just to be all cleaned up to make it look as good as it can. You know, this is kind of like my race car now, so it doesn't need to be perfect but the wing looks good. I like that. And it actually helped with um, me bending these down a little bit so now it sits flush with the uh, bottom. This side I could have bent a little bit more, but it's okay. It's, it's good enough for me. It's better than just being flat. All right, so that's gonna be it for this episode. This one was a fairly quick one. We were just throwing that spoiler on, but uh, Next time, the BRZ might actually be getting a little bit more work done to it over the winter time just to make sure it's ready for next season. And um, until then, hit subscribe, and um, see you later.